For the majority of the 20th century, distributor ignition systems were the primary type of ignition used on the automobile. Even though today they've been completely replaced by the much superior distributorless ignition, there are still many thousands of distributor-equipped vehicles on the road, and one of the reasons they were phased out is that they required a lot of maintenance. In other words, they needed parts. Two types of distributors were used during that time, the point type distributor and electronic distributors. The point type is the older technology, but again, still used in many older vehicles, primarily of the collector type where originality is important. Let's take a look today at the parts of a point type distributor so you'll be familiar with them. Inside the distributor is the points, which open and close to control the flow of electricity through the primary circuit of the ignition coil. The points are opened and closed by a rubbing block that contacts a cam on the distributor shaft. The rubbing block is built into the points. There is also a condenser, which eliminates arcing between the points and puts an abrupt stop to the current flow through the coil. The rotor is located on top of the distributor shaft and is indexed or keyed to only fit in one position. The distributor cap covers everything and the spark plug wires are connected to the cap. The high voltage spark produced by the ignition coil travels through a coil wire to the center post of the distributor cap, through the rotor, and as the distributor shaft rotates, the voltage travels out the specific distributor cap terminal through the plug wire to the spark plug for the cylinder that needs to fire. When your customer is tuning up an old vehicle with this type of ignition distributor, they will often ask for points, condenser, cap, rotor, spark plugs, and plug wires, and replacing all these components at once is the best way to ensure a vehicle with this type of ignition stays in good running condition. Thanks for watching.